every year two countries uh, host this uh, magnificent event. Welcome uh, His Excellency, the Ambassador of South Africa, Mr. Mininwa Johannes Mahlangu. Happy day, Africa, happy day. <laughs> Fellow Africans, friends of Africa, distinguished guests, this year we commemorate our Africa Day celebration under the theme Open Code, harnessing demographic dividend through investment in the youth close code. Beyond investing in the natural resources that our continent is blessed with, we need to invest even more in our youth who are our greatest resource. Provide them with education skills and uh, allow them to uh, unleash their potential. Our next speaker, the Dean of the African Diplomatic Corps, the Ambassador of uh, the Republic of Congo, Serge Mumbuli. Africa maintains the youngest population in the world with uh, over 200 million people aged between 15 and 24. Indeed, the potential of the African youth knows no limit. What can and must we do to address this challenge? As nation states and as individuals, we must improve the health of children, expand and enhance educational opportunities for all children, especially girls, and promote women's empowerment. Let us celebrate Africa Day 2017. Investing in Africa youth, their success is the world of success. Thank you very much. We have a singer, born and raised in Angola, Vivalda Dula. <laughs> The United States looks forward to a continued strong partnership with Africa in this effort. Happy Africa Day, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Africa Day. Thank you. Please welcome Her Excellency Ambassador Jiho Bori Kwao. Dear fellow Africans and friends of Africa, on this day, the 25th of May 2017, we celebrate the anniversary of the liberation of our continent from the yoke of colonialism and the unity that our founding fathers so dreamt about and fought for. Africa Day is also an opportunity for us to celebrate the significant progress made by the continent since the inception of the OAU 54 years ago and the transformation to the African Union we are now today. After 54 years, the building of the unity of the African peoples is still a major task while the challenges which Africans must take up collectively keep increasing. Where do you see the most potential? The most potential is in agriculture. Okay. Agriculture and IT, information technology. Uh, I think that Africa is, uh, is, the, is the next frontier and uh, with uh, more than 50% of the population being uh, the youth, it is definitely uh, the next frontier and there are opportunities in just about every sector. But information technology and agriculture are leading the way. What do you see as the strongest areas for collaboration between the U.S and the continent of Africa? The first priority is to strengthen the excellent relations that exist or, already at political level, at uh, government to government level. We have excellent relations. We have worked on the first compact of the Millennium Challenge Corporation. We have worked on programs in education, in agriculture, governance, human rights, private sector development. 
all these areas are areas that need to be uh, developed further, expanded on. Definitely power uh, and uh, uh, peace and security and counter-terrorism and healthcare. Those are big areas and we are hoping that uh, we can collaborate with the United States. We should be focused on how to enhance, how to uh, increase the economic you know, that's, uh, uh, collaboration between the two countries. I mean here that's not only about you know, that's, uh, economic aid. What I'm talking here is that you encourage the that, uh, American uh, business community to be uh, going there, how to attract them, how to connect with uh, people, because this is really a real safety net. We have decided to, sh to move, to, tra uh, to transit from the position of a great agricultural product producer to the position of great agricultural produce processor. That will give to the youth and to our population a better business opportunity, a better job opportunity. The emphasis is on private sector. We want to, uh, as we stand now, the government is the highest, uh, largest employer. That is not good. We need to have the private sector to come and invest in Sierra Leone. Not only from the United States, private sector from all over the world. We need them. Yes.